oh man, Tesla just can't stop. They can't stop surprising us. They just can't stop. This thing is ridiculous. What the heck? This Tesla bot is getting a little... I mean, I don't know if I should be happy about it, scared about it, afraid of it, you know, excited about it. I, this is insane. But this is why they're the leader. This is why Tesla is the leader when it comes to Optimus bots. There's no other company that can do what this company is doing with these bots. This is why they're the lead. And I can't believe... I, I mean, I have watched like the first 10, 20 seconds of it. And I'm just like, uh, I'll do a full reaction here on this video. And I... I it's ridiculous. It's, I don't know, my mind's blown. I don't even know what to say. Let's just, let's just, let's just get down to it. Smash that like button, hit subscribe if you haven't already. But this is absolutely incredible. So we got Tesla Optimus here on X saying that I'm not just dancing all day, okay? And, you know, he's referring to the, you know, of him doing ballerina and all these other things. You guys can check the video here, which made me completely speechless completely speechless but let's watch this video together again i watched the first 20 seconds and i stopped let's watch this together to see what the heck this is in the beginning it says optimus is learning many new tasks instructed by via natural language look at this taking out the trash pick up pick up the trash open the lid and place the bag in the bin pick up the brush and dust pan. look at that what this is crazy you know, tear a paper towel from the roll. Pick up the spoon. And <laughs> cooking. I'm going to stop right here. Cooking. This thing is cooking. We knew that Tesla's cooking. But now we have Optimus Bot cooking. <laughs> you get the metaphor, right? Bro. Guys. You know what this means, right? Do you guys know what this means, right? It means that Tesla, they're not doing this in phases because we all thought that tesla's gonna make this for the factories first like how figure is doing it right mm -mm. tesla is going for the full thing they're saying that no we, we we're gonna train it for everything we're <laughs> we're gonna make sure that when we sell this robot this optimus bot to the public it's not just for one customer it's for everybody whether you're a factory whether you're a homeowner whether you want it to be helped with your you know at home cutting your lawn doing your laundry it's going to be a generalized robot. Everyone is talking about this thing going to the factory first. After seeing this so far up, I mean, it's only been 25 seconds, 24 seconds, right? I'm not convinced of that anymore. I think it's going to be generalized for everybody, which is mind-blowing. Because that means when Optimus Bot is mass-scaled within the next two to three years, you're almost talking about four to five years, but let's just say mass-scaled in two to three years, and you're allowed to pre-order and buy one, it's not just for factory owners or company owners is for everybody meaning like you and i can buy this thing bring it to our home whatever new scale that tesla or yeah i guess tesla software they have available you just either i guess you subscribe you subscribe to it or you enable it i don't know how that's gonna work and it'll do it for you hey man cook me an egg do my laundry clean the house mm, flip and dust the bin take out the trash as we saw bro Tesla's going for the full thing. For the full thing. <laughs> Let's continue with this. Because there's, there's another 30 seconds or 40 seconds, whatever, how many seconds there's left. Let's watch this. Let's go. Picking up the spoon and searing the pies. Cooking, man. It's insane. Use the vacuum to clean the floor. Let's continue. The thing's vacuuming. And then it says, pick up the Model X fork light link from the right cardboard box and place on the right ramp of the dolly. Open the cabinet. Of course, if it's going to cook. Oh, push the microwave button. Close the curtain. <laughs> it's like you want to take a shower. All these tasks are done by a single neural net, which is incredible. Let's look at all these things. And we learn directly from human videos. Bro, ho hold on. The breakthrough allows us to learn new tasks much faster. And we're now op working on further improving reliability. Hold, hold on a minute. Now, hold on. You know, Jensen said the best way to learn AI, to teach AI to be more advanced, is through videos. I thought all this was teleoperated. It's not teleoperated. It's now videos. Oh, my God. 
my mind's blown, man. And you know, we've got some other people here who work in, you know, Tesla Optimist. Do confirm this, man. You know, we have Morteza Dalal here who works at Tesla Optimist in the AI division saying this. I want to make clear how crazy impressive this result is. We can now do bi-manual dexterous manipulation across a wide range of tasks with barely any data on the scales coming from teleoperation. As we know, teleop does not scale, but turns out human video does. This means Optimus can now rapidly pick up new skills with significantly less effort than before. What's next? You guessed it. Reinforcement learning. And then he finishes off by saying that who would have guessed that humanoid robots are good for learning from humans? Bro, you guys know how this FSD is being learned, right? It's through tons and tons of video and data. And Jensen, the godfather of AI, CEO of NVIDIA, saying that the best way to train these AIs, to get them advanced, to scale, is through videos and lots of data of that. Who has the most data when it comes to this real world AI stuff? It's Tesla. And now they learned that, oh wait, we can do this with the bots. Guess how fast these guys are going to learn things. Oh, man, it's over. It's done. This is, oh, my God. No more teleoperation. It's crazy. We've got another guy here who is working in Tesla AI or, or being an Optimus engineer here. Milan here saying that one of our goals is to have Optimus learn straight from internet videos of humans doing tasks. <laughs> that, it blows my mind that all you need is just videos of doing tasks. Just go on YouTube. Whatever he's doing, learn it. What the heck, dude? Those are often third-person views captured by random cameras. Dude, it's limitless if that's the case. It, let's continue. We recently had a significant breakthrough along that journey and can now transfer a big chunk of the learning directly from human videos to the bots. First-person views for now. This allows us to bootstrap new tasks much faster compared to teleoperated bot data alone heavier operationally. Many new skills are emerging through this process, are called for via natural language, voice text, and are run by a single neural network on the bot, multitasking. Next, expand to third-person video transfer, aka random internet, and push reliability via self-play, reinforcement learning in the real and or synthetic sim and or world models world. God, that's just insane, dude. If you're great at AI and want to be part of the biggest world AI applications ever, you really need to join Tesla right now. They've cracked the code in the bot. That's pretty much what I'm reading. They cracked the code. No more teleoperation. No more, you know, being limited. Just feed a chunk, chunk and, and, Tons of human videos of them doing stuff and the bot will learn. Guys, human ro humanoid robots are coming much sooner than you think. Are we ready for it? That's that, that, I don't even know, dude. This is my reaction right here. <laughs> it's insane. Wow. Again, if you're a Tesla investor or just looking at investments and are into these things, you have to now add Optimus to your spreadsheet. You have to add it in now. You can't ignore it anymore. You cannot ignore it anymore. I'm not going to ignore it anymore. I mean, I, I mean, I've never, I mean, I've, for the past two years, I've been slowly adding it in my spreadsheet, but now you got to take this seriously now, just like how I do with robot taxis. You have to, you have to do it. What the heck, dude? I don't know what to say. Anyways, whew, Elon is back at Tesla. And with all this, it's just, it's uh, the next six months and onward is going to be absolutely crazy for Tesla. That's all I'm going to say. But Elon is back and he surprises us big time, dropping a few bombshells, big bombshells, not just a few big bombshells. You guys need to check this video out. Subscribe, guys. Become a channel member because exclusive videos are coming as usual. And I shall see you guys in the next one. See ya.